hey doc, I have something stuck in my ass. Thankfully, it's not a gerbil. So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? What's up guys and welcome to a new sex toy unboxing video. Today, not only is my hair greasy because right after this I'm going to the salon, so don't hate, but we are going to be unboxing the O-Touch Mushroom Vibrator. Very excited about this. I don't have Vlad with me, so if the footage up close of this product isn't as great, it's because I left Vlad at my other house. My other house that feels so like bougie or something. Also known as I'm in the process of moving and it's a hellish process. So before we jump into this, I want to thank the O-Touch Toys Amazon store for shipping this to me and giving me a 30% off code that you can use until the end of next month, I believe, or this month. Let me check. Okay, so the promo code is at the end of this month, so May 31st. It's a 30% off code and the code is GCXCCFT on their Amazon store, which I'll link down in the description. So if you ladies or men are looking for a cool vibrator and you want 30% off of something, this is the one to get this month. I'm gonna try to do a bit of a more in-depth review of this, meaning I'm actually gonna use it. Ooh la la. So let's go ahead and get started so I have the time to do so. On the front, it says, hey oh bye mei. I don't know, some like uh, Chinese probably stuff. And it says, oh touch, mushroom. It has a picture of the product on the front, which is not true to size. I think it's a little bit bigger in real life, I'm not sure. We'll see once we unbox it. It comes in a nice plastic overwrap. And on the back, which is pretty much the only other content on the box, the box is pretty barren. It says, product name, mushroom material silicone ABS. The size is 56 by 160 millimeters, which no idea what that is. I'm an American. The battery type is polymer lithium battery and the function is vibrating and it has seven types of vibration. Ugh, it does have a customer service address on the back too. Oh yeah, let's unbox it. Ooh, it has a nice little design on the top, which I didn't notice. And the designs on the top denote waterproofness and has a bunch of pictures of other dildos and anal butt plugs. Cool stuff, very cute design. So let's see, do we push it out like this? Yeah, we push it out like this. There's also lingerie on it too. I actually like this box. This box is really cute. I'll show you guys up close with my phone. Not with Vlad quality, sorry. You can see there's actually like a nipple and a shower head and like a rabbit vibe and some lips. It's pretty cute, I like it. All right, let's get this bad boy opened. I am excited to see what it looks like. Yep, as I thought, it's a little bit bigger than on the front of the box. And the first thing I see is that the mushroom head is a lot softer, which is kind of cool. I really wish that they made the tips of actual penetrative dildos. I wish they made them kind of like this, like the head of a penis, because you know, when you're feeling an actual penis, it's really hard through the shaft. And then when you touch the very tip, like the head of the penis, it's a little bit squishier. So when you're getting fucked by these dildos, you're actually gonna feel like it's more like a human penis. Anyway, let's hold this button here. And it's on. Nice vibration on the tip and vibration on the bottom too. I believe that there are two vibrational functions so that you can hold it like this and insert it into you. Or you can use this on your clitoris or wherever else you wanna stimulate, like your nipples, whatever. I sometimes use vibrating toys on Jay's balls while we're like warming up and stuff and I'm not yet using my toy. Fun fact, one of those fun facts that inevitably embarrasses Jay, so my favorite kind. As stated on the box, there are seven different functions. I actually like a lot of the functions. The vibration is pretty solid, but it's also not that loud. I don't know if you guys can hear it here. It's a pretty quiet vibrator, I would say. And some of the vibrating styles are pretty unique too. I think it's really cute. I mean, penises already kind of look like mushrooms, but this one legitimately looks like mushrooms or some kind of deformed penis. And it's multifunctional. You can insert into the ass or the vagina. Nice for the ass as well, because it's kind of like a butt plug shape. And it also has this big end here, so you're not gonna get it lost. As I always say, if you're gonna stick something in your butt, make sure that it has kind of a plug so that you don't have to go to the doctor and say, hey doc, I have something stuck in my ass. Thankfully, it's not a gerbil. All right, let's remove the inner portion here and see what kind of instructions and such we have. So we have the jack here that we can plug in and use to charge it. We have an Amazon ad here that says, thanks. Dear valued customer, many thanks to you for the orders. And then there's a little QR code here that you can use to contact customer service, which is kind of cute. And here we have the O-Touch, the secret of love mushroom instructions. It has them in German, in French, in Chinese and it looks like a few other languages. And on the front, it basically just has a really detailed envisioning of how to use it either inside your vagina or on your clit. But you can also use it in your butt, in my opinion. After use, you can use warm water and sterilized soap, dry with a towel. It tells you the working voltage, etc. Just all the stuff you would wanna know about your vibrator if you're super into this kind of thing. 
And last but not least, it comes with a carrying bag that says, oh, touch the secret of love. I'm kind of curious why, I know it's a foreign company, but why do they have like the sentence and then a space and then an exclamation point? It's like a sentence that would get into Tara Reid's comments or something. But I'm not complaining because I don't need my good sex toys to be grammatically inclined. All right, guys, I think it's time we go ahead and give this bad boy a try. Be right back. 12 seconds later. I am back and here are my afterthoughts. Very easy to wash. I could just run it underwater, scrub it a little bit with some kind of antibacterial soap and then it dries really quickly. It is waterproof, I would assume because almost every product that has this kind of closed in little tiny needle hole for charging is usually waterproof. I'm not 100% sure I was correct about there being dual vibration. I think that maybe this part is the only part that vibrates and it just vibrates so intensely that it vibrates through the whole shaft of the dildo. It's honestly really hard to tell, but I did like this. I like how soft the tip is for the clitoris because honestly, oftentimes I like to go really rough with my toys. And then inevitably I end up having a really sore clitoris and like pelvic area in general. It's not just the clitoris. Also, I like the fact that it's kind of soft and big so that you don't have to target a specific area like with the rabbit ears. I have like a wet spot on my shirt. I'm not sure why, but yeah, you don't have to target any specific spot. You don't have to be good to quote unquote quote at pleasuring yourself or masturbating. It just kind of gets the whole area. So it's going to get the targeted and correct area. Therefore, I didn't really use much of this side and I probably won't in the future either, unless I have another vibrator with me. I'm not a fan of penetration of something smaller like this is. This is only about like four inches or something without stimulation to the clitoris as well. I feel when it's like a rabbit vibe, this is short. It's completely fine because I'm getting stimulation of the clitoris as well as getting penetration. Therefore, obviously it's going to be added pleasure because it's stimulating my G spot as well as my clitoris, but with something this short, it's not adequate stimulation penetratively to get me off alone. So I prefer this side and I can definitely get off using only this side, which is basically what I did. I think if you like something a little bit smaller, but you like to be stretched out a little bit, this is really thick. It's kind of like a chode slang for a short fat dick. So if you like to be stretched out or your G spot happens to be really close to the opening, this definitely is long enough to hit mine. I just like to be pulverized as you guys know. So overall, I would give this part, the clitoral stimulation part of an eight out of 10. It's pretty good. I actually liked it a lot. It rectified a lot of the other problems that I have with other clitoral stimulators and vibrators. Easy on the clit, wide range of uses. It's just a pretty good solid product. I would rate this side, and yes, there's some size queen bias involved. I would rate this side a six or something out of 10. I would say overall, this is probably like a 7.5 out of 10, definitely worth buying. If you want something smaller, that's gonna be quieter, that's just reliable and 30% off with this code on the screen right now. Go ahead and check it out. Link will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Otouch, for sponsoring this video and sending me the product. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for the opportunity. All right, guys, if you enjoyed, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate your viewership. And if you wanna see more of these sex toy unboxings like this one or the Adam and Eve ones I do, let me know in the comments section. And of course, if you support our sponsors by using my 30% off code, it helps my channel out as well. And even though I do unbiased reviews of things, I do appreciate you trying them out as well. Mwah! I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully an on-time Friday night mail. Again, if you want 30% off this product, link in the description. And it's sold on Amazon, which is a marketplace you can trust. Whew, after this video, I'm pretty hungry and I need to go cool down. So that's what I'm going to do now. Bye guys.